Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, welcome to the long dark. Uh, nope, I'm not going to make a sexual end to win a joke about that. But, anyways, so this game, usually I walk into these games blind and drunk. This time I've already played it, so I'm just walking in drunk. Uh, what happened is I recorded about an hour and some odd minutes, and the first hour I lost. My record deck here records an hour segments. Anyways, so give you a brief synopsis. The first hour, or the first day, I survived, I believe, a whole of three minutes before I, hey, look, a dog, and there goes my face. It said I died of loss of blood. I believe I died from a loss of face. I mean, the thing was still eating me. Anyways, uh, the second day, I avoided a dog again and went to the house, came right out the house the dog was waiting for me, and then ate my face again. The third time was the time I lasted the longest, excuse me. Uh, much like in real life, the first time you, you know, qu right quick, the second time. Anyways, so what happened the third time? I made it to a lot of houses. I uh, then got enough gear. I went down the road to look for uh, civilization. I then found a dead end, walked onto a lake, excuse me, uh, fell in, got wet. Uh, of course, this is icy, so made it to an island with a big house on it. Just, I could have made it to the house. I wasn't that dead yet, but I was freezing to death. So I thought, I'll stop, I'll make a fire, dry myself off, then go into the house. And I do have the footage for that, and here's what happened. So let's start fire. Start. Then again, everything's wet, isn't it? Is that my condition down there in the corner? Oh, I burnt. <laughs> the glimmer of hope was tragically taken away because we accidentally built a fire underneath us. So, after I became a crispy goat, a crispy corpse, uh, that was the end of the playthrough. So, so I thought, let's try again. Now that I have some knowledge, let's see if I could survive longer than. Whatever I did last time. So, the story mode, by the way, is still being worked on. So. So, it's not available. Again, this is alpha, if I haven't said it yet. So, this is kind of still early. Alpha. And so, in sandbox mode, you could do uh, one where the uh, more interested in exploring and surviving. The wildlife won't attack you. This one, it'd just be passive. This one, they are actively killing you. Uh, just, just, just gameplay, realistic. Let's just go with the, this is the one where I died lots of times over. So, again, you could be male or female. So, anyways, again, I'm not looking. And click. I didn't click on the two of them. Okay. Looks like I'm a guy again. So, nice touch there. And I'll, I didn't do Mystery Lake last time, but I like the Coastal Highway one. Kind of interesting. I'll do that some more. Then again, who knows? Since I didn't play the lake, I don't know uh, what's happening. Anyways, yeah, a geomagnetic storm knocked down my plane, which, by the way, that is an actual possibility. We always worry, uh, we always worry each time there's a giant solar flare because it can actually knock out our GPS, computing power, power lines, etc., etc. So, it is a possibility, after all. Excuse me for a second. <coughs> By the way, if you guys haven't noticed yet, uh, on my computer recordings, I got a new microphone here. So that's why I might sound different than my uh, Ouya recordings. So I could actually move away from the mic when I have to cough and burp. And boy, do I have to burp. It's a... Uh, I had Little Caesars for lunch and dinner. It, I mean, I woke up late, so it was both. Anyway, shift to run. So again, Wasta, the mouse. This is on a Mac, I should say. I need... I forget which Mac version I have. I mean, not OS-wise, but I mean just the actual hardware. I need to get a new one. Thing cost me a near fortune the first time I bought it. It's a 27-inch. I keep I keep having my character look up in the corner while I look at my computer. Like, it makes a difference. Hey, this looks familiar. I think this is like the one I survived the longest in. So I wonder if it is randomly generated or if there's a couple presets. So, again, look out for those bastards. 
Why are those bastards here? Anyways, so let's hop on down. Oh, thanks. It saved my... I need some first aid. Oh, sh shit. No. It's a sprained fucking ankle. Hovel. You'll survive. Now, if those zogs eat you, you won't survive. Can I turn on the power here? I mean, it should have power on it. All right. They haven't noticed me yet. Here we go. Come on, open. There we go. Whew. I hit E. I'm so used to... um. Mm. Excuse me. Uh, valve controls. Did I hit E? Oh, sh it's a... Hey, fine. By the way, tab to get the menu. It's a sprain ankle. Four hours. Why do... I don't need... Uh, fine. What a waste of painkillers. I don't have any painkillers. If I rest four hours, it should go away on its own. Uh, Pick up. I could use this. Yes, you can. Uh, I said pick it up. Pick up is what I meant. There you go. A flare, yes. We could do a fireplace to get ourselves warm. I should be able to sleep on here, which would be the preferable place to sleep. Uh, and if I had a flashlight, I could use it here. Anyway, so yeah, again, this is a survival game. And the main question I had when playing the last one is, what is the end goal? Or is there an end goal? I mean, is it just purely survive as long as you can? Or, like I did in that last attempt... Can I uh, look for civilization, uh, a rescue party? Because again, this is the ideal situation in this scenario. I crash somewhere nearby. I found this place. The search party will probably start near the crash site. And this place screams, let's start at the places where there's already houses. Mainly for um, for uh, convenience sake. So, oh, what was that? What have we here? Nice, I didn't notice that. So yeah, I can sleep for four hours. Oh, I can sleep for any increment of time. What the hell? Why are there matches near the um, sink? And why is there a celerant in the sink? In the, and why is there long underwear in the tub? Uh, whatever, they were in kinky stuff. Uh, cancel. I don't need to drink that. Uh, by the way, here's my uh, stats. I could harvest wood if I want, or excuse me, I could harvest stuff from my uh, equipment. I could have it uh, forage for wood, and he just kind of, it brings us a menu, so I have no, so if I want to, that one, it'll take an hour, 40 minutes, I'll burn some calories, so yeah, kind of a nice little feature there. Since I'm in a somewhat safe place, I guess it lets me do that. All right, I don't, actually, I don't know, I should test it outside when I'm about to be attacked by a dog, see if it lets me forage for, again, towel! If the Hitchhiker's Guide have taught us nothing, this is the most useful piece of a... Mm, let me pick it up. How dare you, sir? How dare you? Now, let me pick up a towel. Are you no fan of, uh, of Adams? Anyways, enough of my rant over. Uh, I could drink from the toilet. Oh, I haven't looked here yet. If I get a lamp or, um, or some kind of source of light, that'd be nice. That'll come in. Yeah, I have three of them. By the way, something else the game doesn't let me do is wear multiple layers of clothes, it seems like. Because I think I should be able to do that, since that's exactly what I would do in real life, is uh, wear multiples of stuff. I mean, when it's cold, you dress in layers, right? Speaking of cold, hello guys in the Midwest and the East Coast. It was 80 degrees today here in Phoenix. Ha, ha, ha. How you like the weather in Chicago? <laughs> Sorry. Then again, they'll brag when it's 120 degrees here and it's like 70 there. But winter is why we live here in the desert. Uh, pork and beans. Nobody needs this anymore. I don't know. Again, why isn't there power stuff here? Is this like a cabin that they shut off during winter? Again, I think it's supposed to be... Oh, that was my email notification. In uh, northern Canada? Eh? Uh, so... There are parts of that area that you just can't really live in during winter. It gets too cold and there's no sunlight. This. Shouldn't that be frozen by now? All things considered. This is HP... Uh, was it a uh, public broadcast radio? Uh, NPR. National Broadcast Public Radio. That joke doesn't work if you have to remember how to pronounce it. Uh, granola ball, yes. So yeah, again... 
like seven days to die. Essentially, you're scavenging all that you can to survive as long as you can, I guess. Again, I don't know if there's... Ooh, look at that Technicolor piece of uh, lint coming at us. Anyways, I don't know... Uh, you can store stuff. Don't want to. Excuse me. Again, burping. Now I can do it politely. Mm. Like, why can't I turn on the light? A water ball is sweet. Because I could see stuff a hell of a lot. It's an ankle. Jeez. Rest should be enough, not rest and a... Oh, no, I don't want to go outside. There's evil things that will eat my face. Actually, I think that's all that's about in there. So unless there's a dog nearby, let me hop over to... There's no bed over there, though. Because that's a store and a hangar. So... Hmm. Oh, come on. I mean, it should be lagging this bad. You'll do fine, but there might be painkillers over here. Oh, this guy decided to pop in. All right. So if we get some painkillers, I guess, I'll uh, gab some of that. And then I could have him sleep for a couple hours in um, the bed over there. It smarts a bit. A bit? What is this? Yes. Ha ha. I didn't know there were guns in this game. Turn on the light switch, damn it. All right. So now those guns, I mean, now those damn dogs really have to search each one individually. Oh, come on. You should be a search option. What have we here? Yeah, that's the cabinet itself is scrap metal. Yeah, the funny thing is this place isn't abandoned. There's guys sleeping in the bed and stuff. I'm just, I'm just some, <laughs> so instead of asking, waking him up, asking if I could use the phone or anything, I'm just stealing all the stuff. Living out my survivalist fantasies. With a broken ankle. Herbal tea. Mm. Quick question. I love tea. Tin and coffee. I have this stuff here. Which is called cold brew. Which essentially... You, uh... I don't feel cold. Uh, you put in a pitcher in, uh, with water... And you just put it in your fridge, and it brews in the fridge, essentially. Hope nobody needs this anymore. So, how do you guys make tea? Do you boil it? Because back home in Yuma, where, by the way, it's sunny 90% of the time, and the average temperature is, in fact, 90 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, oh, sorry, kit, sweet. Anyways, what I was about to say, we used to make what we call sun tea there, where you put bags of... Uh, I don't need anything right now, actually. I mean, I don't want to set a fire just yet. Uh, what I was about to say is, um, we set a jar up with some tea bags in it, and you set it out in the sun, and it gets hot enough where it essentially brews itself in the sun. But I've never actually made tea normally, like boiling on a stove. Nor have I really, really gotten a, a tea maker. The best I've done is, what do you call those, cra uh, Craigs? Or Craigs? Those single cup things. Could use this. Hey, Mountain Dew. And I use that at my parents' house. They have one to get iced tea all the time. Which, of course, it brews out hot. To me, tea's always cold. Is that the same with you guys? Do you always have tea cold, or are you, is your mental image of tea always hot as a result? I don't know. Then again, th listening to uh, Douglas Adams talk about the proper way to eat tea makes me want to go to uh, England and actually try it proper. Oh, well. I'm getting a lot of lighter fluid, but no. Oh, yes, actually, yes. Tools are always useful. And by the way, workbench is where you build stuff. A basin? Was there actually water? Or no, I could use that to make water portable, or drinkable, rather. Again, a source of light would be nice. What was that? Oh. You could even hear me breathing deep, right? <laughs> I should move away from the mic a little bit. I have a pop screen, but it doesn't seem to be all that effective. I'm hearing a lot of my puzz. There is the freaking ladder. Okay. We here? Uh, let's go ahead and equip and light it. I like that you actually have to hold it down. There we go. See? Look, I can actually see now. Yeah, so this is a store, so there's a lot of... Uh... God, all those noises make me nervous. Like, I know I'm supposed to be the only one here, but I'm just half expecting to see zombies or the undead. Uh, something. Dog food. Can I actually use that on a dog, or is that for me to eat? Alright. 
You know, newspaper we use for uh, k- some first aid. Soon. N- you're fine. It's still just a freaking. F- it's a sprained ankle. Then again, I've never had a sprained ankle, so I don't know how bad it actually is, but doesn't seem to be that bad. Usually with the anything that I associate as a sprained ankle, you just walk off. With the phrase, stop being a wussy. Oh, sweet. Can I get cash? Bet you if I do get cash, it just ends up being uh, stuff I burn for a uh, fire, which makes sense because what good is cash if you're open? There you go. I keep hitting E. That'll come in handy. I'm going to have lots of drink. And also, if you notice in my menu, a calorie counter. So I do want to keep, I uh, can't jump because I'm wounded, a uh, decent calorie count going. A uh, newspaper in the, uh, apparently people like to read. Ah, here we go. Energy bar. <laughs> so apparently these people just needed energy bars to uh, heal themselves. They're some kind of super mutant that just uses energy as a source of, oh no, that's extinguishing. So I can put out the fire. So I don't. I'm not wasting it. Uh, okay. So again, hobble around. You'll be fine. As they would used to say back home, stop being a wussy. Anyways, so. Mm. What was that noise? That's what makes these things spooky. Is the atmosphere of it. All right, let's venture outside. So the question is, do I go to the next door, see about sleeping for four hours, which should take care of this. Also, ill. well, what time is it? Hold on. Wait for the game to catch up with us. Tab. All right. It is nine. Wow. Fudge me. That's cold. Uh, I think Celsius. I don't know Celsius. Can I change that to Fahrenheit because I'm American? Hoorah. Uh, no, it's kidding. So, uh, why is painkillers needed? All painkillers do is mask. So have I been, I've been to that house, haven't I? Let's go to this house. Hopefully we can make it before we get mauled by evil, evil dogs and, um, see if they have any painkillers. If not, we'll make our base here for the night. At least they have propane. They should have freaking heat. What's this? Again, I should be able to do this. Grumble, grumble, grumble. Oh, grumble. Mm. I might have to find me a whiskey bottle here soon. In real life, that is. Hope nobody needs this anymore. What will we find in the oven? Nothing. All right, so first things first, let's actually see if they have anything. More wool caps. Beef jerky. Yeah, so I can make a fire in the fire pit. I think last time I was here, there's a dead body. Just, I think someone killed themselves. Another flare. I don't know why they would kill themselves in such a cold, cold. Again, why? It's the same stuff. It's exactly the same as it was in the other house, wasn't it? So that means they're probably not. Use this. Oh, I don't. There they was mittens. So I need to take a look, see about what I can. Again, I would wear all the cold underwear. E <laughs> Because I'm a wuss with the cold. Again, growing up here in Arizona, I'm used to the heat. I can handle heat. It's the cold that just gets me. So, all right. Uh, let's get the water bottle. By the way, how am I doing on that stuff? Hunger stuff is at a medium. I should drink and eat a little bit before going to bed. So that way I don't wake up completely starving. And it should help my warmth. So, first things first, let's do equipment. Uh, water bottles. Let's see. Actually, let's drink some soda. Just before going to bed, it's always good to drink some soda, right? And you can see my calorie count going up. If only real life was like this, then you can easily keep track of your calorie count. There's a little computer that does it for you. Uh, beef jerky, dog food. Uh, can of wet dog food smells bad, but eaten it is better than starving. Okay, uh, let's do a granola bar, which is 100 calories more than it should be, I believe. Usually, granola bars are about 200 calories. 
Uh, uh, hunger's a bit low. So, how about... I eat a flare, yeah. Uh, salty crackers. We'll make you thirsty, that's fine. I'll eat some, um... I'll drink some more soda later. So I'm at a... I'm at my good calorie count there. Thirst went up, but I have plenty of soda. Which isn't exactly good for thirst initially, but... Let's go ahead and drink some of that. So my body has plenty of calories. I'm good. Let's sleep for... What time is it? It is currently 6 o'clock in the afternoon. Wait time. Oh, oh. Sorry, a little bit of heartburn there. Uh, let's see. Eight hours will put me at 2 o'clock in the morning. That might be a bit much. Uh, let's give myself a full 10. Even waking up at 4 in the morning is not the best in the middle of the freaking tundra. Ugh, it's just making me cold thinking about it. At least last time I played this, it was actually freezing outside. Now it's regular. Look, I survived for 15 hours and one minute. And I am dehydrated. Wow, I am dehydrated like no one's business. Okay, by the way, my ankles healed. Water. See, I told you I didn't need any damn painkillers. Uh, let me actually get some water rather than, uh, potable. Yeah, let's drink. Because nothing works better for thirst than water. I mean, look at that. Completely gone. All right, so, uh, let me get the lat lantern out. God, that noise. I, uh, went to college up north in NAU. Here in town. I mean, here in town. Here in, uh, Arizona. And man, when it gets that cold, when you just hear that wind and you know it's just kicking snow everywhere and it's, oh, God, I feel cold already. Uh, where's my lantern? Storm lantern. Uh, refuel. All right. And let's equip it. It took me forever to find the thing initially because I was looking for a lantern in L. I didn't realize it was in Storm Lantern. So there we go. Now we can see. And I've already checked everywhere. I think other than in the kitchen, I really didn't search much. A sewing kit. That's good. So we can fix clothes. Speaking of clothes, let's see what I'm wearing. Equipment. What am I currently wearing? I am currently wearing a thin wool s sweater. I didn't get anything better. I'm wearing this one and there's a couple more. I should wear this one. It's in better condition and it protects me more. I have work boots, which... What am I currently wearing then? See, I wish it had a... Uh, does it have like a uh, equipment? No, it doesn't. I mean, like, it just shows me... Oh, clothing. Sweet. Perfect. Okay. Uh, Condition weight. Alright, so I am currently wearing basic boots, which give me, uh, just plus C, uh, where are my work boots then? 1.7, one bonus 1.4, oh yeah, so let's wear the work boots then. So yeah, this is the kind of stuff you do all the time, just compare and contrast to see how warm you can get. Uh, mittens. Am I wearing anything for hands right now? Basic gloves, which are 0.7. Mittens are... Yeah, let's wear that. Again, I should be able to wear multiples of this. Like the long underwear, I should be able to layer. So let's go ahead and warm that one since it's the best around. Nothing going to ever get me down. So cargo pants, 0 0.4 versus 0.9. Oh, that's fine. Thin wool jacket. I don't think I have anything else for jackets. Okay, so that should be good for now. We should be a bit warmer, especially since we're about to step outside into the unforgiven, uh, uh, cold northern Canadian weather. Yeah, pretty family portraits. Sorry I had to ransack your house. But hopefully you understand, right? The reason I had to steal your TV was because I need to survive. Sweet, some more a lighter fluid. Yep, 
Yeah, again, the interesting thing about these games, or what really makes them, you know, when you actually do stuff, it, sense of accomplishment is you have to earn this kind of stuff. I mean, it's not like it's just handed to you. So, again, like, don't starve. You know, it's that challenge of surviving. Even though don't starve is a lot more cartoonish. But, I mean... Yeah, this reminds me a lot of Seven Days to Die. Except a bit... I don't know, I think this is a bit more, uh... Polished right now. I don't know, I haven't played Don't Starve... I mean, uh... Uh, seven Days to Die in a while. Anything else? What's in the fridge? Which is completely useless in this weather. Stuff naturally freezes. Alright, so, time to die. Ah. The outdoors. How? Let's see what it's like at, uh, before sunrise. Wow, this is this looks fun. But you think I shouldn't have to worry about dogs in this weather. So I can't imagine how this would be without my uh, lantern. Fuck! Attack. Okay, I think I got this. As you died from loss of blood and sh <laughs> Uh, yeah, shock. That's what killed me. It wasn't, you know, the giant dog gnawing on my, what was my head, now a stump attached to my neck. Uh, okay. Well, wasn't that a fun first time? Let's try again.